you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jessica and I created Dolled Up by Jay so I'm in a glitzy t-shirt mood on this channel so today we are gonna be discussing my most and least worn designer items this is basically just to share with you what items I have the best cost per wear out of what items I am NOT wearing that much so if you're here for it give the video a thumbs up and let's get to it Okay guys, so let's start with everyone's favorite, the bags. So, first bag that you might be surprised by, actually, my most worn bag. I don't even care if these are like not cool anymore or whatever, this is the Valentino Spike bag. I still absolutely love the original rock stud style. I don't really love the new Roman studs. I find them just to be too chunky and I don't really know how permanent they'll be in Valentino's line. I feel like the spikes are gonna come back. This bag I got maybe a year and eight months ago or so now. I absolutely love this bag. Now I do need to probably clean the hardware a bit. This bag is my most sturdy bag in my entire collection. This bag is literally like a piece of armor, honestly. Not only are the spikes still looking totally immaculate. I mean, there's a little bit of scratching on the hardware, a little bit of scratching on the spikes, but considering I have brought this bag out so many different times, the corners have barely any signs of wear, honestly. This bag is still in immaculate condition. I think that this is a perfect quick throw it on bag, run errands, run out the door. It has a perfect amount of space for your phone, lip gloss, sanitizer, whatever else you need to bring. You can wear it on the shoulder. You can wear it crossbody. I absolutely love this. You can put the chains down and you can wear it as a clutch bag as well, which I think is so chic and rocker. And I absolutely love this range from Valentino. And I always wanted one of these in a larger size in the blush. And then I saw, oh, they're not as cool anymore. And I never got one, but who knows? That may change. I still absolutely love this. This is hands down, I think one of the best quality bags just by wear and tear that I own because it still looks immaculate almost two years later. I know I can take it out with me. You know, if I'm going to more of like a bar environment, busy people are gonna be bumping into me. I don't need to worry about it so much. And I just absolutely love this. Okay guys, next, honorary mention. Honorary mention is the Chanel Classic Flat, but I'm only mentioning this because if I am going out somewhere where I know it's gonna be kind of more upscale restaurant, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been in plenty of restaurants where in the lounge and it's like standing room only and it's just bump, bump, bump. And every time someone bumps me, I wanna like lose my mind on them. This is my go-to. If I am getting dressed up to the nines, if I am going to dress to impress myself and just look fabulous, I love the Chanel Classic Flap. This is my special occasion bag. I've also worn this a lot of times, just, you know, doing errands, going to Dubai Mall, getting my hair done, whatever. I don't really like to wear this to any sort of beach environment because it is lambskin and it's very delicate. I do not want it to be out in the sun, you know, getting any damage or fading, anything like that. The humidity in Dubai is also very intense. So I tend to only bring it out at night when I'm gonna be indoors. I know it's not the most practical, affordable bag now and people are really mad at Chanel, but this is still honestly my most loved bag. And if I am dressing to impress, dressing to the nines, this is the bag I wear. I love this so much. And honorary mention because it deserves it. Hey, next bag you might be surprised by that I actually haven't worn in a while because I need to get it repaired. This is by Saint Laurent. This is a quilt that I believe it's actually wallet on chain, but it is quite wide for a wallet on chain. Now, the reason I need to get it repaired is there is like a tiny, tiny, like micro scratch. You probably can't even see it, but just the way I am is it bothers me. And then also the corners are just starting to show a bit of signs of wear just here, but now that I'm seeing it on the camera, I'm like, oh, I need to wear this more again. I love this because I brought this out with me so many times this past summer, so many times in Dubai, and it's honestly amazing that there's really no color transfer on this at all. I think I've maybe wiped it like once or twice since I've owned it in two years. There is literally no color transfer, right? And with my Dior Caro there, I love that bag so much, but I am really scared about color transfer because it is a pure white, very soft leather. This leather is a little bit more durable. It's a little bit like slightly more kind of grainy textured, but still soft, it has kind of like a double flap and then a pocket in here. And then it has, I mean, how many cards is one person really gonna have, but it's got about 20 different card pockets. So this to me, even though I think it's called a wallet on chain is like a purse, it's 
perfect for going out, you know, sling it across your body. It's flat. It's not going to like bump people so easily. It's a great, great, great bag, honestly. Okay, now let's go to shoes, guys. So we're still in the most worn category, okay? So you're not going to be surprised. I'm not going to dwell on these for too long. I'm actually a bit surprised. These are my Saint Laurent mink mules. I'm sorry they're real fur. These are my most worn heels, hands down. I'm actually shocked. I thought these would be like special occasion. No, these are so freaking comfortable. They still sell these. I believe they have them in a white, a cream. They had them in a purple, a pink, a light blue for spring, summer this year. Fabulous. These are so comfortable. They are so amazing. They are so comfortable. Um, the heels are still looking good. They have a little bit of scuffing on them, but they're fine. And the bottoms, you know, I'm not going to show you. They're a little bit dirty looking, but these are so comfortable these shoes i love them so much they are a little tight across the toe and then they do break in i also just love the black and gold saint laurent logo i think they look so chic and just snazzy i just love these shoes i have worn them in so many videos so many tiktoks so many posts you guys are probably getting tired of seeing them and seeing them in videos but i just love them and i just keep wearing them because i just love them and they go with everything they literally go with everything and they're comfortable i'm not going to be in pain like if I'm wearing Louboutins, you know? So these are amazing and I hate to say it, but if you are in a bar and someone spills like drinks on your feet, it's happened to me and I literally scream bloody murder. I'm like, not the mink. You just wipe them with a nice damp cloth when you get home and they're black so you can't see anything. So they actually still look amazing. None of the fur has matted. There are no sticky bits and they look perfect. So lovely shoes okay next is a platform pair by valentino they are not the ones that everyone has the tango pumps because they just sold out so much and i didn't know if i really love those enough to buy them i actually got these last year but i still wear them all the time they are a perfect dubai shoe because the weather is always warm so these are kind of always in style these are i forget the name i believe they're sold out now i'm so sorry but i just want to show you anyways they are platform valentino heels they are so comfortable and i love they kind of match with everything i'm usually wearing gold accessories bags that have you know gold hardware as well or at least champagne hardware as you saw so i mean they do match with a lot and i just think that these are so cute i love the chunky heels and they're so comfortable like i can literally wear these for hours and not get sore they're comfy, they're secure, they're really well made, and I honestly love these shoes. They were obviously a bit expensive because they're Valentino and they are a bit heavy, but they are so comfortable. And if you want a comfortable shoe, but still to have the height, I would definitely consider Valentino platforms because it was honestly so worth the money. These shoes are amazing and definitely my favorite. I don't really own any other chunky platforms. They're not typically my style, but I wanted a summer type shoe that could be worn in the daytime going into night and wasn't a wedge because I'm just like not a wedge girl <laughs> okay last pair of most worn shoes I have talked about you guys the Oran sandals and the Christian Dior Dua slide so much on my channel you already know I wear those to death every single day every single week whatever I'm not gonna show them today because you already know you've heard me talk about them but I wanted to give a special mention to my Saint Laurent Andy sneakers these actually were shined at the airport and I haven't worn them since so they look very snazzy for you these shoes are so freaking comfortable these are like my travel shoes and these were my walk around every day in vancouver shoes these are so comfortable i love the low profile i absolutely love them i've had them for probably like two and a half three years now and they look amazing still they look so good even on the back like you can't even really see much wear at all they look so good they were worth every single penny honestly if you want a pair of designer sneakers that are good quality that are comfortable that will last you that aren't golden goose try the saint laurent andy sneakers honestly i have the perforated ones as well didn't find them as comfortable these are amazing and they are unisex they are permanent in their collection i love them so much highly recommend guys highly recommend absolutely worth it okay it was really hard to choose my favorite belt my most worn belt but it's between the dior and the valentino but because my dior belt at the moment is a little too big on me unless they wear jeans i'm gonna have to show you the valentino so this belt is the valentino classic v logo belt honestly i love it because it first of all is half the price of dior second of all the leather is soft and supple not as soft as a dior but for that reason when you sit down in it you are not going to have any sort of dip 
like my Dior belt had. That belt had a dip in the leather because it was so soft. When you wear pants, it gets a dip in the leather because it's bending. This belt does not do that at all. And it's also two in one. So you can buy different varieties of this belt. They have a black and a red. They have black and tan. They have all kinds of combinations. So I got the black and the taupe. And all you do is basically you just pop the logo out switch it onto the other side, and then you have a taupe belt. So you basically get two belts in one. It also comes with loops in both of the color schemes for each side of the belt. So it's a really honestly amazing belt. And I love wearing this just with like a high-waisted like t-shirt dress, pair of shorts. I just find it's easy to take on and off as well, which is a big one for me because if you're, you know, trying clothes on or anything like that, it's annoying to deal with a belt that has like too many buckles. So I love this belt. It was a great purchase and it's very durable as well because the hardware is kind of like an antique gold, like classic Valentino look, right? So it's not so shiny where it's gonna scratch easily. That's a problem I have with the Dior belt. I love it so much, but it scratched so easily and the leather is so soft that it changes shape easily. So I'm choosing this one as a most worn designer belt. Okay, let's get into the least worn. So let's go, I guess, into my least worn belt. Now this is not to say I don't like this belt. I love this belt, don't get me wrong. I freaking love this belt. I love everything about this belt. This is the Fendi FF monogram emboss, deboss belt. This is fabulous. I absolutely love the texture of this. It makes me want to get a Fendi bag with this texture. I just don't know if I love the baguette bags. I don't know if they're for me, but I love this Fendi black leather. It's just sexy, it's sexy. The problem I have with this belt is when you are wearing jeans, the way the loops are with like this, going into this, and then going over, the way it is, it just it just doesn't really necessarily like open and close easily. And also, because this is so shiny, it just scratches easily. So that's the only problem. I love it so much. I think it is the sexiest belt ever. I love it, but it just scratches easily and it is an expensive item. So you have to prepare for that. If you are going to get this, you're gonna to have to baby it a bit or at least accept the fact that it's gonna get wear and tear over time because that's just what it is. So I still love this, absolutely, but you can see there is like quite a defined scratch over there. I don't know if you can tell. And I've only had this for I don't know, under a year, which is like too bad. So, and yeah, the Valentino one was definitely a lot cheaper than that as well. So just to let you know. Okay, least worn bag. So you might not see this as a surprise if you watched my, um, I think worst luxury designer purchases video. This is my Dior saddle belt bag. I absolutely love this bag. Again, do not get me wrong. I just find I don't wear it enough because you know, you have to kind of Put the belt through here if you are wearing it as a belt you have to thread it through and it's kind of annoying to take on and off so you kind of have to have it on for the whole day it's part of the look right so i noticed one of the real houses of dubai she was wearing this in the oblique print and i was like Ugh, she's clearly not taking that off she was sitting by the pool in her home wearing it and i was like she's not going anywhere but she's probably wearing it because she can't bother to take it off and thread it through the thing again i know so that's the reason i just don't wear this that often it's also very small my iphone does not fit in it's too tight and it basically just fits like a small thin lip gloss and some cards or cash but i do love this do not get me wrong I will never sell this. I absolutely love it. It might have a resurgence, but it's just not the most user-friendly size-wise. So that's just why it's least worn for me because of the belt configuration, but I still love it. I still love it. And just maybe I need to make more of an effort to incorporate it in my outfits. Okay, guys, least worn shoes now. Least worn shoes. Now, again, let me tell you, these are one of my most favorite pairs of shoes. These are the Aquazura Papillon 105 millimeter sandals. I also have them in gold and I plan on getting them in the baby blue if they make them again. I absolutely love these, okay? I absolutely love these so much. I think these are absolutely fabulous. They are a work of art. They lace up all around the ankle with these beautiful little butterflies that dangle. They have these in so many colors. Dubai doesn't get as many colors though, unfortunately, but I was in London and they had all the colors. Oh my God, I fell in love, I fell in love, okay? I love this green. You guys might notice I love green on this channel. I just always find beautiful green things, but I don't wear these enough because they are green shoes. So they're not the easiest to match with. And they're not necessarily like a nighttime vibe. It's like a very specific outfit. I feel like I have to wear maybe like all white or like all neutrals or maybe like plain black and then have the pop of green. So also another thing is they're not the most comfortable. I mean, I don't care they're a piece of art, but I will say, 
to have them to stay up so that the ties do not go down your ankles they do have to be quite tight so they cut off your circulation i've seen hacks online where they tie them like they start under first and then they go around the ankles so i might have to explore that i just don't want them to like rub against the shoe too much and damage them because these are like not cheap shoes and also the backing the backing can be a little bit of a pain it can dig into the ankle so i've had it quite bad before that's the only thing but i think these are absolutely stunning works of art i love the little aquazura pineapple on the back absolutely obsessed I love these. I don't care that they're some of my least worn. I look at them every day in my closet and I just go, hmm, I love them. I love them so much. Okay, my next least worn, but doesn't mean I don't love them. These are my beautiful Gianviro Rossi. I forget the name of these. <laughs> these are stunning. I'm sorry, they're a little bit dirty. I wore these on New Year's this year. These are definitely my special occasion shoes because they do have full Swarovski crystals. And they were very expensive as well. I think they were like a thousand euros or something. So they were very expensive and I don't want to be wearing them anywhere when, you know, I might be consuming too many margaritas, too many martinis for fear I roll my ankle or something and then, you know, some of the crystals come off. These are strictly like special occasion or beautiful dinner out shoes. They were from a really beautiful trip in Milan that I went on and then they were a gift from my boyfriend and yeah, they're just really, really beautiful shoes so they have like sentimental meaning to me. And yeah, they're just stunning. I love them. I love the suede accents here. Some people don't love that they are leopard print, but I am a leopard lover. So that's just what I like. So I think these are beautiful. They are still honestly an amazing condition on the backs as well. I wore these for New Year's once again. And I will say though, they are not the most comfortable. They do definitely really feel rough here for some reason. I'm not sure if it's just whatever they're made of, but they are very rough on the ankles so i notice at the end of the night my ankles will often be like very 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 red i absolutely love those shoes i just keep them for special occasions because i don't want them to get ruined and they're sentimental to me and i love them so much but they do kind of cut in the ankles a bit as well but i love them i love them okay guys i think my battery is gonna die so that is the video anyways i think i've showed you everything and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you're new here definitely consider subscribing i would love to have you back here and if you are a returning subscriber thank you i love you and we'll see you next time okay guys bye